The greatest appeal of higher graphics was the fact that 50% of the coursework is portfolio work and to me that I knew that if I worked hard I could get a really good mark in that and that totally makes a difference within your exam. You still need to study but just maybe not as hard as <laughs> you would have if you didn't have that great a mark. Yeah I got 68 out of 70 for the folio as well yeah. and that made all the difference like having to just walk in for two marks like that was it just for a C. Like although it's demanding, like you needed to go all the time after school, like say if you, as soon as you got it sorted that was you, but it was a lot of time that you had to spend on it to get it right. There's definitely a downside to it, like um, the amount of computer storage is required is ridiculous. The amount of times I've deleted stuff by accident and had to go straight back to the start, having to spend hours and hours and hours a week in graphics, mm -hmm. which was outside of learning time. There's days where you spent like all day after school till yeah. about eight, nine o'clock in the department working away. But the teachers are so helpful and they will go the extra mile for you, yeah. like no doubt. If you go the extra mile, so will they. Yeah. I'd say that you needed um, to be quite good at rendering stuff like that because that's a main part of it. And um, if you're not very good on commuter computers, then I wouldn't suggest it, but you can always learn. Um, you need to basically have the patience I, a lot of people kind of take it thinking it'll be a bit of a mess about subjects, thinking it'll be a bit easy, but it's not. It's quite a big task, especially at higher level. I developed my drawing skills as well because you need to sketch quite a lot and you need to have everything exact. And on CAD as well, the pieces all have to be exactly the right size. And so if you get one thing out, then the rest of it will be out as well. If you've got any career aspirations in a certain job, like engineering and anything like that, then it's good to have graphics because it helps a lot with it, like the building aspect of it. Um, yeah. You learn different um, universal symbols and signs. These signs do not change. And if you are going to be working maybe in plumbing or engineering or no matter what, what trade you work in, these signs will become relevant to you and your job. You should also pick it as it's quite a fun subject, yeah. although we may have <laughs> said it's hard, it's fun. Like It's fun to be able to actually learn how to draw properly and how to actually make and build things on computers. So Yeah, my lines were unbelievably straight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, careers into of, engineering yeah, are, a lot of a engineering. Lot of are really associated with it. If maybe you don't want to take the university approach to it, if you maybe want to do a lot of modern apprenticeships or... Um, through college they welcome graphics with open arms because you have learned both practical and computing skills. Companies quite like when you've actually studied a subject. They look for people that can design things just like that and so it's much easier for them to employ someone that has graphic communication because they've worked with computers and they've worked like drawing things out to exact measurements which is pretty good for that if you're not looking to go down the degree side of it. Thank <laughs> you.